Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all doing really well. Today, as the title suggests, I'm trying another dry shampoo. This is from the brand Kristen S. I don't think I've tried anything from them before, but I've got a couple of products that I've purchased from Boots recently. I wanted to try out and share with you and understand whether this brand is worth picking up and worth your investment. So I love trying dry shampoos. They're some of my favorite products to try on this channel. And so this is their Style Reviving Dry Shampoo, an oil absorbing, blow dry extending product. I want to give it a go so I'm on day two hair so my hair is not particularly greasy but I want to just see if it gives me some volume and helps my hair look a little bit better for the day ahead so if you're curious to see how well this works then be sure to keep on watching. So here we go, the bottle itself looks quite nice. I love a like sleek matte black product. I think it looks really, really luxurious. And I don't think it was particularly that expensive either, so that's always great. This here, the component at the top, is a nice custom component. It looks a lot nicer than typically the very generic ones you get. I tried the Olaplex dry shampoo and that had a very cheap kind of top on it. Very, very minuscule thing to even point out, but I think it really adds to the experience of the product. I am so excited to try this. So as mentioned, my hair isn't particularly oily today. I do some of these dry shampoo videos where my hair is quite oily. Sometimes I do them when they're not as bad. I think with something that's promising to be like a style extending product, I kind of just want to see how much volume I get. I've not really styled my hair today, but it's naturally quite straight. And so I don't tend to actually straighten my hair unless I have to or I've slept on it funny or there's a kink or something like that. So I think we're going to get away with the rest of it today, but I did want to give this a try and just see how it can refresh my hair on a more immediate level and just see how it can make it look a little bit better. As you can tell, my hair generally sits quite flat to the scalp of my hair. And so I love getting something that gives it a little bit more bounce and volume if I can. So what I'm going to do is give this a great shake. And then as ever, you probably want to spray it around 30 centimeters away from your scalp and really focus on the roots that you can really work that in and see what kind of oil absorption or style reviving you can get from it. So let's give this a try. Quite a powerful spray and I've got a little bit of um, white casting on my hair. I always think it looks like gray roots as I spray it onto my roots. So I'm just gonna give it a minute. Um, I always tend to leave it at least 30 seconds before you just start massaging it in and try and get optimum volume. But looking at the way to use this product, I think if you have like curls in your hair, have a blowout or something like that, that you're just trying to get to like last a couple of extra days, this is claiming that this would be a great choice for that. So and that's why I'm particularly excited to try it on hair that's not too dirty and just see from a volume and style point of view if that's the case because i do love that when i've curled my hair i do like putting dry shampoo and just to give it a bit more extra oomph especially when i've got so much volume at the ends of my hair the top of my hair and like the roots just doesn't often match that so let's start massaging this in i have to say the smell of it is actually like it's quite a strong smell and i think it's slightly florally if anything it's quite nice but I just thought I'd know that it is it's definitely got like a scent to it. If you don't like scented products, you might not like that. And it was quite a strong spray. Okay, I've got volume and I definitely think throwing your hair forward and just really working it in that way helps give you that definition. I love the fact it's helped given my bangs just a bit more volume and a bit more shape, which I really like. And I'm someone that really loves using dry shampoo before I go to bed as well, just as a prevention so I'm not waking up with greasy hair. What I am gonna do, because it's also given me some volume on the ends, is just take this Beauty Works X Molly May hairbrush and brush those out. I'm not touching the root here because I don't want to lose that volume that I've achieved. 
but just to calm those end bits out slightly. I think that that makes it look a little bit better. Um, not tons and tons of volume, but definitely a little bit. And again, if I had my hair curled, I think that this would be really helpful in just giving it a little bit more grit, a little bit more volume, a little bit more structure. Um, so yeah, it looks really nice. I do really like the way it's helped accentuate my bangs and give it a bit more shape compared to just starting this video. So I quite like this. Like it doesn't feel heavy in my hair. In fact, I can't actually feel the product in there at all. That white cast massaged out really nicely. And obviously my hair wasn't too oily, but if there was any like oil starting to come through, it's really helped to absorb that and make it look super, super clean as well. So I think that all of those things considered, this is actually a really nice product and I probably will use this more on the styling element. I think that this is gonna be really, really great for those times where you need something that just gives your hair a bit of bounce. Um, and I think that especially my hair type that sits very flat, it's great to have something that helps movability. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. Have you ever tried this product out? Because I'm curious to try more from the brand. It's a very simple dry shampoo works well i can't wait to continue using this and if you are new to my channel i typically use all dry shampoos up relatively quickly and they'll be featured in a empties video in a couple of weeks time or something where once finished i add that to just like a box of products and once complete i then talk about whether or not my final impressions of the product match my first impressions and so it's great to use products up and actually like reflect on whether i'd repurchase them and what that behavior looked like in a range of different scenarios but from a case of like day two restyling give it a bit more bounce and body i think that this is really nice and yeah i'll probably use this to also help to just prevent my hair kind of looking greasy so if that is something that's on your mind i definitely recommend it but yeah let me know what you guys think and i'll see you guys in my next video bye